In this lecture, we are going to learn that how do we report the publication style regression output in Stata using the outret2 command. So first we need to load the example data set into our Stata file. The command that we use to import the data set is sysuse and the data set that we are going to use is auto data set. We are using the clear option to clear out any previous data set that is there in the memory of Stata. So if you have any data in your memory that is already there, you need to use this clear option. So let me run this command. And now we can see that the data set had been imported. It is a 1978 automobile data set. And these are the bunch of variables that we have. It's always a good idea to describe the data set before you use it. So in this case, we are going to use the describe command. Let me run it. And now we know that what data set this is, how many observations do we have, the number of variables, and the name of the variables, their labels, their storage type. So once we have the idea of the data, now we are going to run few regression analysis and output their results in a publication style. So the command that we are going to use in this video is called outret2. It is a user written command and we know whenever we are going to use the user written command, first we need to install it in our system. We use ssc install and then the command name to install a command in Stata. I have already installed it in my system, so I do not need to install it again. You just need to use this command if you do not have Outret 2 installed in your system. So once you have installed it, we first need to run a regression. In this case, we are going to use a simple OLS regression where our dependent variable is price and these are our independent variables. So let me run the regression. We have our out output. Now we need to use the outtrack command to export these results into a Word document, MS Word. The syntax that we are going to use is the command name which is outtrack2 then the word using then the file name in this case i am simply using the file name as results comma and the option that we are going to use is word which means that the results would be saved in a ms word or a word processing software so now there are a bunch of options that we can use we can either store it in Excel, in LaTeX, in Word. There are a couple of other options too. But mostly we would use Word or Excel. So let me output it. So, so we, it has generated a couple of links on the screen. These, uh, Whenever there is a blue uh, text on the status screen, that means it is a link. And there are three links. One is the file name. The second one is dir which means the directory where this file is stored and the third one is see out option when you click on this see out option the stata would open the results in a data view of stata so let me click on this file to open the file now we have these results these are our independent variable the constant the number of observations r square and the coefficients and their standard errors are in parentheses we also have the a note which represents the significance level of variables we need to close this document now what would this dir mean it means that when we click on this dir it would open the directory the folder where this file is saved now where would stata save this file 
that depends now if we have this do file and it is stored in a folder then the stata would save this results file in that specific folder the second scenario can be that we have defined a working directory by using the cd command the change directory command of stata or the third option can be that we write the full address where we want to save the file so in this case say i want to save this file in the e directory where i have ha i have a folder by the name of a abc so this is how we would write it but in this case i have the do file and i want it to be saved in the folder where that do file the file is saved so this is how we write it this was the simplistic version of the outrec2 command mainly there are two options that we use one is the replace the second one is the append option now the append is the default version if you do not write anything after the comma then this outrec2 command would assume that you mean append option what they mean we are going to discuss in a while now what replace option will do is it would delete the previous file by the same name and then this it would save a new version of that file so any results stored in this previous file would be deleted so let me rerun a new regression in this case i am dropping the variable of gear ratio so that we know when we open the new file we know that the, that variable had been dropped so let me run this regression again this new regression and output it with using the replace option let me open the word file and now we see that the previous results were deleted because we are using the replace option and these new results didn't had the ratio gear variable so let me close this now let me run another regression now in this case what i have done is i have two regressions one is the simple ols with no option and the second regression has an option of robust and this robust option is used to cater the heteroscedasticity issue so now now i have run the regression and i, I want these results to be appended what do we mean by appending the results i mean that i have a one column with this previous results and the second column with this new results so let me run it let me open the file and now you can see we have another column being added with the new results let me go back let me add another column with with another regression results in this case i only have two independent variables let me run the regression and output the results using the append option now you can see it would be clear what do we mean by the append option the the append option adds another column to the previous results that are stored so if you do not write any append or replace option what stata would would do is it would keep on adding a column for each regression that you will run although the result seems good but what i want is i want to add some specification some some text that would represent what these results are so let's say i want to write ols in this first column then the robust option in the second column and so on or, or say i want to write model 1 model 2 and model 3 so let me close this document for this purpose we are going to use the c title option 
what does c title means it is the column title that places a customized title over each column so what do what we are going to do is we are going to rerun these above regressions these two regressions these two and in this case we are going to add a title over the column so let me run the regression and this time i am going to use the replace option so i delete the previous file let me rerun the regression with robust option and i have added the c title robust it would add a column name with uh, of robust and ors let me open the file so now you can see the c title had been column title had been added now it looks quite clear but what I want is I, I want to add model 1 before the OLS in a new row. So I want a row with model 1, model 2 and then in this the next row there would be the word OLS and the word robust. Because when I would be interpreting these results I would be referring to model 1 and model 2 in my text. So the way that we do this is still using the C title option but now we write the model 1 comma OLS. Previously we just had the word OLS and now we have this word model 1 with a comma. What this comma does is it adds the next word into a new row. So in this case we would have a row with, with the word model, model 1. And then we would have a next row with the word OLS. So let me rerun this regression. Output the results with the replace option. And the second results with the append option. And let me open the word file. So now you can see it looks quite nice. And now I have this model 1 and model 2 in my results. But the issue is that I do not have the uh, a, a clear variable names in, in this table. What would be nicer is to have labels rather than the variable names. And for this purpose we are going to use another option by the name of label. So now we have uh, this new option which is label and what it would do is instead of adding the variable names into the regression table output table it will use the labels so let me run the regression again and now you can see i have added the label option but this label option is in another line and from this specific arrow key enter key you can get an idea that it is a line break this is a, a same command but this status 16 is responsive and when you decrease the size of the uh, do file window it snaps the the line to the next uh, line so so let me run these commands Now you can see that instead of the variable name we have a nice labels that uh, that can be reported in the uh, publication. But still there is an issue that is that in this first line you can see there is just one number after the decimal point but in other cases there would be two or three uh, digits after the decimal point. We want them to be consistent and for this we have an option in the outrec2 command which is called decimal. So this is the option that we are going to use which is DEC and within parenthesis we are going to write the number of decimal points or digits that we want after decimal points. Let me run this command. 
let me open the word file so now you can see we have this perfect uh, two digits after decimal points but what if we wanted that the the standard error should have three decimal points whereas the coefficient should have two decimal points that is really needed but just in case we need it now for that what we have is we we have a bunch of decimal options and let me show you from the help file of outrec2 so to open the help file we type outrec2 help outrec2 and scroll to the section where it, there is the decimal options now you can see that there are a bunch of options the generic option is decimal and the number of decimal points but we can use a specific option for b decimal for coefficients only we can use s decimal for standard error the t decimal for the t statistics and so on and so forth let me close this window So what I have done is I am using two decimal points for the beta and three decimal points for the standard errors. Remember we need to use these options with all the commands whether they are we are appending them or replacing them because if we use it with just the first command then it the decimal points would have this specification in the first column but some other specification in the second column. So we do not want that. Let me run these commands. So now you can see we have three decimal points in the standard error uh, that is reported in the parenthesis but we have two decimal points in the coefficient. Now so far so good but we want to improve this a bit further. And we want to add some text that uh, say for example we want to, to tell our, our readers that what this model 1 represents and what this model 2 represents or how these variables are measured. So we want to add a node and we have an option in the outrec2 command for this task. The option that we are going to use is called add note this is the command and within the parenthesis you write all the text that you want to be reported in the note now remember for this specific command you do not need to write it again with the append uh, uh, regression but you just have to have it in one of them either it can be in the first one or the second one let me run them So now you can see we have this uh, footnote that represents the um, the variable names or the the details regarding the model one and model two. If we don't want any note at all, then we can simply use the no note command instead of add note command, and it would remove any notes that would be generated, even the the significance level that had been written there. Now I, I need to have a title over the start of the table. So the way to, to add the title is by using the title command and within the parenthesis we write the title. So the rest of the command is the same as above but we have just added the this option of the title. Again as with the add note option it, ju it just need to be with any of these command so i have written it in this command the first one but it is missing in the second one and that is perfectly okay let me run them let me open the word file and now you can see we have a perfect table that can be reported we just need to do some adjustment and the first one is to adjust it to the window this would be left aligned and then this can also be left aligned and reduce the size 
so that's it that's what we needed